back to the Nerd Militia where we talk about comics and geeked up shit. Today, we are talking about a video game. And the video game that we're talking about today is a side scrolling beat em up masterpiece. L- let me ask you a couple questions. Do you like time travel? Do you like ninjas? Do you like androids? Well, this is the game for you. Of course, I'm talking about the Ninja Survivor, aka the return of the Ninja Warrior or Ninja Warriors. This game has a couple of titles because it is a remake of an earlier NES game that came out years ago. It was back then that it was called uh, Ninja Warrior. And the only thing really different from the earlier versions of this game is that it has the addition of two new characters. So really, there's not really too <laughs> there's there's not too much detail in in these characters at all. It's pretty cut and dry. It's pretty freaking simple. You're pretty much a ninja <laughs> cyborg sent from the pet or sent from the future to the past to take over or to destroy and stop a dictator from taking over the world. It's a pretty fun game. And don't get me wrong, it's no street to rage by any measure, but it's still a fun side scrolling beat em up. I find myself in a lot of challenging uh, areas, especially there's a few bosses in this game that are really challenging to beat. You have to conserve your energy because like armor refills are not like abundant in this game. So they do make it hard for you to kind of like, you know, heal your character. Also, your special attack does take a while to refill. So it's not like you can go around using that thing willy nilly. So I played this game on the PS4 and I found that like this was my game that I went to when I needed a break between other games. Like I actually put a lot of time in it and it's actually pretty fun and you can find yourself spending hours playing this game, especially the time attack. So yeah, guys. That is my review for the Ninja Survivor, the return of the Ninja Warrior. Um, it does sound like some sort of tie-in for Terminator, but I promise you, it's kind of like more kick-ass than Terminator. It's pretty rad. You guys will love it. Just check it out. As usual, guys, thanks to Pashami Nation for allowing me to review this game. It was freaking awesome. Go check them out. Pashami Nation, they are the meat of pop culture. And as usual, guys, thanks for stopping by, and I'll catch you guys later. Stay excellent. Whoa, guys, did you catch that? I almost left this video without giving this game a rating. So let's go ahead and break this down. So with all this game is giving you, with all of its awesome retro game goodness and its side-scrolling badassery, I'm gonna go ahead and give this game four out of five skulls. The game is simple yet super creative and unique. Although it's been around for quite some time, it's it's still a story that like is really, really awesome. I mean, like, come on, ninjas, like freaking cyborg ninjas cyborg ninjas with a political agenda like cyborg ninjas with a political agenda defeating alien hybrid clone enemies like it just doesn't get any more bonkers than that so that's why this this game gets that score so yeah guys as usual thanks for stopping by and i'll catch you guys later.